everybody, it's Terry Cruz, and I am here with Son of Beast. The next part of the game as we're ready to send you down to night two. This is the next matchup. The New York Knicks and the Boston Celtics are ready to rematch each other for the second game of the second round. Now it's time to bring things all in. Drew Holiday with Derek White and Jason Tatum with Kristaps Porzingis and Jalen Brown in small forward. And for the Knicks, Jalen Brunson with Dante DiVincenzo, Anubi with Josh Hart, and Isaiah Hardenstein in the center. Now, let's find out. Will the Knicks tie this series up, or will the Boston Celtics start things strong in the first home games before getting to the Madison Square Garden in New York City? We'll see how this one happens on its way down to make another new change. And now for the next commentaries I will have is one of our biggest. This will be all you know for Boomer along with the other commentators on the other side. With Silver Spoon and Clover. And right now it's Ali LaForce on the sideline for the court side. We'll see you all later for the post game show right after this. An halftime show will be underway soon. Let's get going and get cracking. Let's do this. Celtics, Knicks, next. This is Star Alliance for visiting team of the New York Knicks. Etc. Isaiah Hardenstein. A shooting guard, Dante DiVincenzo. At 4 4. Josh Park. At the four position, OG Adonobi. And in point guard position, Jalen Brunson. The head coach for the New York Knicks, Tom Fibido. And it's now time to introduce the Boston Celtics. Starting in point guard, a 6.5, number four. Drew Holiday! Starting at center, 15 7 2, number 8, Christophs Porzingis! At guard, 6 4, number 9, Sorry, and forward. That's six, 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 number seven, Jalen Brown. That's forward. Number zero, Jason Taylor. The air coach for the Boston Celtics is Joe Mazua. Once again, your boys for your Boston Celtics. It is that time, everybody. We're ready to send you down to TD Garden Arena for tonight's game of the playoffs. I am here right now, Boomer along with Silver Spoon and Clover on us for commentary for crew for Valuable Force. Tonight's matchup is right in between as follows. The key matchups in between of the two, Jalen Brunson against Drew Holiday. He's also along with some other other players in between Jalen Brown and OG Ananobi. Isaiah Hardenstein and Porzingis are your center guards in the matchup. Dante DiVincenzo with Derek White. And finally we have is Jason Tata on Josh Carr. We get this thing started and we're ready to get this thing going. Here's Drew Holiday. He starts things over now finding it over again to Porzingis. Porzingis finds the pass. It's stolen by Brunson. Here's a take. Josh Carr with a drive. First one doesn't hit the flow in. Fades a shot. Goes back. Misses the target on the other side. Drew Holiday gives it over to Jason Tatum. On a throw down. One and dunk down. 
That will be a first look for Jason Tatum. Now, for Jason Tatum, I really just say that in first and dunk doesn't mean it doesn't improve at all, but in the hard work, it doesn't happen to be most of them. Have the consequences are right step? It has to be what they are expecting, and you play it the right way. Dante DiVincenzo, screened by a Trey Hardenstein. Missed the two, and it's rebounded by Porzingis. Drew Holiday with the ball, passes down to Jason Tatum. On another shot, this one missed the target. Jalen Brunson with the ball, and he finds it over. On the other side right now, with the attacking coming in. Takes a step back. Fade, Fiery Ananobi. Ananobi on Jalen Brown. On every screen, trying to give it up. And a two doesn't hit off the float. And it's where we'll pick the layup in, and we'll tie this game up for the Knicks and the Celtics. The one thing I have in common right now, they're both pretty tall. Pretty right between Isaiah Hardenstein and Nicholas Eprazingis. That must have been a great way that they were just playing it the right way. And I know they're trying to move pretty right hard. Well, they did it. They don't really pay attention to a lot, but playing it on the better offense is just a hard one to take. I know KP does it, but I, I hate it makes a drive, KP, KP with the first bucket of a night. That one takes it a little bit of a hard chance. I just need to know what you sure. Here's a chance to run it. On the layup, he makes it that. That's really good. I mean, I have never seen a drive done, but that is something I've never seen him like this before. Nishu Holiday, vice pass over now to Jalen Brown. Moves it over, Holiday. Slides in the cross. Pushing its way forward, now finding it to White. White. Looks it over. Block the pass. Up and over again to Jason Tatum. With the three. This one misses from the target. Porzingis trying to get a hell of help out here. I know we have Hart and a drive puts it in. A defensive breakdown puts up for the New York Knicks. Well, you can't start things over. I mean, you don't want to start that one too soon. You gotta try to find a way to get this through. Holiday now finds it over the end of Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum now finding Derek White. White. Make his way across. Now finds Jason Tatum. Over now to Drew Holiday with a three. Triple range, no good. OG Ananobi with another rebound. And it's going to be New York Knicks up by two. The pass to Dante DiVincenzo. Solid deep. Brown. Over now to Derek White. He finds Jason Tatum. Looks it over to Jalen Brown. For the three. Triple R makes it in. That'll be his first three-pointer of the night. He's got his first three-pointer in game two. Now they're back up in that lead. Just take it, just shoot it, and then you've got a great cover to have it all. And then, you've got a great uh, commitment of it. Just take it all you got. The number two-pointer makes it in for OG on Kobe. And uh, this one goes back up in the lead. And it's now an 8-7 game. I hope been playing on OG Ananobi for sure. After playing with the Toronto Raptors, this may have been one of the good big consequences out there. Playing in between after RJ Barrett's end of the season, and definitely on the other team for sure. They never really felt like nobody at all. But this was a weapon. They can't really get over this at all. Count the bucket at one for Jason Tatum. That's right now, Josh Farmer. This is first of all. And this will be one free throw for Jason Tatum. Look at when you play United for Jason Tatum, you have to be over right in between a one on one offense and the defense. That is a great pressure. Take it from here and let Jason Tatum put a great try. That's when you start things over. That's a great look. And put a bucket in and win. One free throw up here for Jason Tatum with under four minutes to go in the first quarter for Boston. Getting it up here by 10 to 8. And he gets his free throw down. Here's Brunson. He'll start things over. First time on call by New York. With under four minutes to go. This will be a 10-8 call. It's right now. They're trying to look up ahead and get right into work. As you may have already noticed right now, the head coach that started things off might have a wonder, wonder a feeling that you have to give it over to. And this time, it was Tom Fibido. He just really never had any, any idea what he was, he was trying to say. But he has one of his siblings, David Thibodeau, Janet Tibori, and Dennis Tibori. 
He has a lot of them that has to go with. And finally, it's Nancy. He has a lot of them right now. Because of one of the most similar seniors, this guy is a junior. He gets played over for one of his head coaches. They also call him Fibs. Fibadoo. That's what his name is. Fib, Fibs. It's another name that you have to go for. Now, you never realize how what you can spell that name for out of it. Because what happened in the 2016 of their team when the USA win the gold medal? And this one was happened one of its occasionally. And this is what ever happens. First, the college happened to be Salem State. And really need to be in here for one of the medal takeovers. And then his next career, he's now with his 1981 and to present. First, this happened to be at Harvard, Harvard with the assistant. Then the next one comes in for a couple of assistants, the former head coach of the associate head coach of Boston Celtics. He played with his team before, and this one was assisting coaching them with Brad Stevens. That's also a very idea of this also occasionally before the head coach comes in with Chicago Bulls. And there's no way they can definitely take over. And then, the Denver Wolves. And finally, New York Knicks. He finally brings his team over. He wants to find out if he can get all of it done. Here's the pass now to Brown. He looks it over, not finding to get the Brown Taser. Tatum now finds Porzingis. Down, back to Brown. Here's a Brown drive. In between, great cutting. He has his five points in the game, back up by two. Just gonna keep that Brown drive. Now looking at Arkansas. Now out of side. He now tries to dish it over to Jalen Brunson. On fadeaway, Jerry dropped no good as KP with his second rebound. Finds a pass now to Drew Holiday. Looks the pass over. Here's a take for KP. What a pass here by Jason Taylor. That's his second bucket of the night. Just got to keep on calling down for KP. Really need to be out there a bit, a little bit too soon. But this one is just okay now. I wouldn't say it's okay it's not too late. You won't have to take that one anyway. Because of that one, I really say that Chris Abrazingas, he really does it all. And our one puts it in for Harding Sign. We're under 2.30 left to go in the first quarter of the game. Passes down to Jason Tatum. Tatum now finds again a Drew Holiday with a driving down. That one stopped it again as hard as they signed with the rebound. OG Ionobi now fighting again to Hart. Solid D by Jason Tatum. He fights his back, two rebounds of the game. Looks it over, now finding Drew Holiday. Holiday gives it again to Tatum and now finding it again to Brown. Here's a Brown try, stepping in, misses. Ionobi now finding again to Brunson. Brunson trying to watch his step in. Looks it over to get a deep Vincenzo. Vincenzo trying to cut his way in. Over now to Brunson for the firing three. He makes it in. It's now a one point lead off between New York and Boston. Got a play we can go for. Jalen Brunson had that three pointer just by no coincidence. On his way down, he's no idea where he has to go for, and he's had a very quick. He finally dug it, he made it in there. Jalen Brown on the outside. He finds it over again to Derek White. Find the shoot. He needs to take. Up and over front, Di Vincenzo is good. Derek White with his first bucket. Now back in the lead, Jalen Brown with the assists. Might be a good confidence out there, but that close game may not be what they were getting. First time out, second time out call by New York Knicks with 1.11 to go in the first. Now I have a confident feeling of some power that's going to happen right now as you give it over to the outside for Joe Mazula. American basketball head coach. He's definitely had some of his education and has definitely earned his way. And now he became the one of it played for one of his better techniques. First, he was the informal player played for West Virginia University and has the highest winning percentage of any coach in the NBA history. That's 150 games more than any other coaches that they have. And then this happened to be one of it of this NBA draft. That was 2011. He became undrafted, and now he wanted to go with his coaching career instead. He changed his mind, and he has no no choice what he goes for, but that was all his coincidence enough to get it through. Yeah, you know, Joe Boswell, I know he's got my back to because after Brad Stevens, who's already retired, he made no one in there. He must have tried to have come in help us. He made it out pretty good. All that changes, and everything that must happen here is going to keep on going. Oh, 
save respectfully. I said, Joe Mazula, make that one clear in a moment. New lineup changes right now for the Boston Celtics and for the New York Knicks. A couple players have checked out. That's right now. Brayton Butcher along with uh, Exilman, Exilman Tillman Sr. and Al Warfer have checked in. The New York Knicks are making new changes here. That's right now. McBride's checked in. Also, along with the other two, we have it across from here. It's Alex Burke and it's Boba McDonovich. Not a pass over now. Again, the Tillman Sr. now finds it over again to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Works his way across, right toward the middle, back to those hands. Tatum's got seven points this game. Back to back scores, coming back in 18 to 17, 1 to 1. Three for Achua. Misses the outside, and if rebounding, will not have a chance here for Isaiah Hardenstein. Misses one again, here comes Tatum. On his way down, two pointer, pulls in and out. Now back to the other way is Bobal McDonovich. Passes over. The three for McBride. It's good. Back for the outside. It's 2018 score. 20 seconds left. Well, we're starting to get a little bit in between. The back to back scores are not really trying to be anybody's idea. That changeup is going like, to be a hard one. No one wants that to make a mess out of the back Jason Zeta having a little bit out of time. Just all over for it. Over for it. Tries to tie this game, and that one takes it in. That's a 2020 game, and the first quarter. Never happens around a home run. Might be what you will expect now. Play it correctly. And that's the first quarter game here. Both teams are even up. We get to the second quarter, where I do this. As we welcome you back here at TD Garden Arena, as we are already making our way to the end of the first half. 2020 is the score. Both guys are even up. Game two is getting a little bit close call. Well, what do you guys think of how they did? Well, they're playing really well. Honestly, they just might have another change off the play for a ride. And hopefully for the Boston Celtics, they might be able to have another man advantage. Hopefully they keep that one in there. Good. I'd probably say so too. I mean, I just don't care. I'd like to see what they could do if they could try to keep it up there right along the way. Second quarter starts now. Dillman Sr., he's also along with Jalen Brown. Al Horford is with Sam Hauser and Peyton Richard in the point guard. Rolls it over. Here's a three for Sam Hauser. And this one ranges in. Makes the first three pointer of the game. And he has that one starting off for game two. Fire rebound for Sam Hauser. Oh, Dale. That's really belong. And luckily, I'm happy. The point is the other way. The turn is not turning what they were expecting. Great chance here for Mitchell Robinson. He stops it up. And now here's McBride. Now finds it over again to Brooks. Brooks right towards the inner center of the paint. Outside is Robinson. Wilson McBride. With the swing. He used to take. With the chance and effort. For two, it's good. That will be McBride's first bucket in. Big league game summary in between. There's a lot of great chances and opportunity in the range that are trying to watch their way in front. Also for the outside, he now finds it over to them to tell him to see See him. Who went out to Richard? Richard finds it over again. Sam Hauser looks it over. Here's a shot. Corral Horford makes it in. Makes a drive in. He has a second bucket. Right enough to have that one on top of me. They're really doing it well. The Donovich for three. And this one misses to the outside. With an over three, he would have no problem at all, but no even at the game. Sam Houser finds the pass to Jalen Brown. Looks again to Al Horford for two, and he makes a bucket at one. That will be a narrow range in for Boston Celtics. A shooter with a foul, and he will have his chance at the free throw line shooting one. You always can't tell him down for Al Horford. You can't mess him up like that if you get it done. These other dishes are on the court. The even change of Brunson and Ananobi have checked in with Park. Celtics making new changes right now. We play is checked out. Porzingis, White, and Holiday are checked in. It's the first free throw. Makes it in now. It's now a six point lead. New York trailed by six. 
clean the green. Here's Anubi with a two. That misses again. Great defensive effort for KP. He has third rebound. You know, every time you play an album, I always say that KP is just excellent. Maybe not with hard, maybe you just tell me what you want to do. Play it in there, it's just a great way to have it. KP answers another call at the third bucket of a night. He's heating it up right at this moment, but he's trying to look his way across and he can get a block shot. No, I'm playing at my elbow. Here comes Drew Holiday on his way down with the throw down, and he goes. That one puts a one hand dunk down after White with the assist. Power last rumble. Lee Green is all the courtesy you take. It's Dante DiVincenzo, and it's denied by KP. That's his first rejection of the night in game two. Swats it away. Now, KP really had that one in there. And I'm saying now, don't ever defend him. And he definitely rejected that shot. You know what I'm saying. That's <laughs> all what happened to hell. Don't take the courtesy effort if you want it on. Our number three quarter makes it in for the Celtics. Time out qualified New York Knicks with under five minutes to go in the first half. They expect it now, KP. What do you got? What's popping in there? You have any choice? No, I have to wait for you to give out that one anyway. <laughs> but that's what I always have to call for anyway. But that is what you always go for. Clean the curriculum of the goal. Doesn't mean for anybody. You really got strong. Well, I could have asked. So next game that we have a, a proposal right now for the NHL, the Virginia Senior. Thank you so much for already, everyone who is supporting right now. We have the Leafs against the Bruins. That will be on its way, and you're about to see what this one comes in. Because at the moment, it's going to happen for most of the games, and keep on in there for another look of it in between. Then, the other side, we we'll keep your eyes up here, steady it or across the other way, as we have the next part of the game, as we have another new look of it in between. Right of those two, we have the Stars facing against the Jets, that will be the other side of the game. And finally, for the Eastern Conference, we have a cross from here, as we have the Tampa Bay Lightning facing against the Hornets. That will be the next matchup on its way, pretty soon, for the next two games. And for this moment, we'll keep an eye out here for one game for the NBA. Keep your eyes peeled for the next part of the NBA playoffs, only on Sundays. Out of Derby, with the screen. Tries to make his way through. A ball stolen. Sam Oster has that covered back. Here comes Holiday. Back to White. Over and down. Eggs Mitchell Robinson with the block. The board of Amalia reports. And he asks that one. She has something to say. Jason Tatum has been a hard, dedicated on his own time and effort. It doesn't happen to most of them. When they expect it to have it in, they have to play it in the air at the right moment. Jason Tatum has a lot of quotes saying, All eyes on me. They expected me, but I have done much better of this gaming to be of their goals. But nothing came out better. They really have expected. But they all didn't really have to care about it for anybody else's game that way. But when I do, I do daily routines, get right into work before pre-game warm-up, and then before game time at 8.30, this is what I always have to do to get ready for the game. And static is not always easy when you take it in there to have a, have a nice matchup. Here's a pass out to White. Looks over to Drew Holiday. 22 makes it another one in. Drew Holiday's got six points in this game. Off by 12. Derek White with the assist. They always know Derek White. He's got a great open pass look angle. Everybody's had that covered out anyway. I don't know what's going on, but they really are starting to get things over it. Hopefully, keep freezing in on the man's defender. On the man-to-man -man pick. In the middle, AFC Vincenzo for the triple, no good. Derek White with his second rebound of the night. Gary down the mark in the three minutes of the period of the quarter. Here's White with the two. And he is just a call. He's got seven points in this game. Really, what they all now know of the Celtics, they are really adding another field goal range, keeping it in there as tight as they can, and make that one a lot more easier to have it on the string. It won't be anybody. I'll take it off. Oh, wow! That is unbelievable. That is what a heck is that play you called for? Mitchell Robinson knocking out Drew Holiday. 
Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. They're in a terrific position now thanks to their flawless execution in the second quarter. Some excellent work offensively now has them up 11 at the break. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. That's been the difference in the game. And over to Kenny, your thoughts on the Knicks' first half? Well, they have to improve their defense. They have to get it burned on the ground. They went put a hand up, and my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, we got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shaq, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For those of you who are joining us in, we welcome you back for the second half as we're ready to get this thing started. Great start so far, but Jalen Brunson has that one coming in there. To have that one coming off to a big mark in between. With 12 points, one assist, and only a steal has made. You can't really tell Jalen Brunson, and just really had that one there showing up. Just bring it in here, just show it out speed. We start the second half right now. Jalen Brunson, he's with Ananobi. James Harden signed right towards the middle. Dante DiVincenzo, and finally, it's Josh Buck. Luke Stacey David, he now finds again with Jalen Brown. He looks it over, and it's stolen by Hart. Hart with his first steal. Tries to look his way across. The three for DiVincenzo, and it's good. Rolling it back in for his 48-40 game. Here is Drew Holiday, down the airway now trying to find another way to get right into it. Looks over, Jason Tatum with nowhere to go, makes a three. 51-40 game, they're back by 11. Just racing in there, that's what Jason Tatum knows, he's a crazy look. Take it from here if you want to have another chance. Brown, the pass now finding again to Jason Tatum, on a driving bounce. What can it take? Jason Tatum does it again. And he has been pulling it in, knocking from two pointers in between with an excellent try and a takeover in between. Here's Jalen Brown. Another miss by New York. Well, it looks like they're not really shooting well enough. I mean, there could be a problem already. But they can't never be let down to anybody who can play after long, year by the year. No one wants to get over right in between. They gotta start sinking a bit more. Here's Derek White for two, and he makes it in there. That is another two point bucket for Derek White. And it's Brown with the assist. Jalen Brunson calls a timeout for 6.15 left to go in the third. That's what they were expecting for. Gotta fill up for hydration with Gatorades. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody need to have a refuel to get ready? Of course they do. The NBA Playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. Stay far. Like good neighbor, stay far is there. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. We're fast, reliable, and secure. Hey fans, as you were expecting, you know, you won't have to be making your posts this right now, and you are taking a look at which matchup you would like to choose. We are voting here for you. That will be happening here for the NHL 25 and NBA 2K25. That will be the next one on its way here for a new season, season 9 and season 4. That will be a new change up here for every part of the game, so that's going to happen right in between of those two. And that will be opening here on July 17th and July 18th, right in between of those two. So catch your song before the recording starts things over. So if you enjoy this game, we will have a next level here for you. And by the year 2026, everything might be changing. So stay tuned with the announcements for next year in 2025. I know you for three. Makes it in there. That's another triple range for the outside. 
55-43 is the score. Well, they might be what they're taking right now because there might be a new channel that might be up there popping in there. You'll see. Well, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know. That's what happened, but hey, let's make it quick. And we'll do it And we'll pass over to Jill Brown and I'll find Susan Tatum. Tatum with a two. Sidestep it. Missed the target. Dante DiVincenzo with a rebound now back the airway. Now he passes over to Harden's side. Harden's side now finds Hart. Looks it over. DiVincenzo for three. Takes it in. That's the number three pointer in the game. A 55 46 game. Ah, it's going to be a close one out there. Hopefully. Jason Taylor now finds Shane Brown. He looks again at Drew Holland. Looks over now. Trying to get back over to him, Derek White. White gives it again to Brown. The bounce pass are now finding Jason Taylor. He put the ball around. What about some Celtics? And he will fire the set man. That's the number two pointer for Jason Taylor. He has 14 points. Scoring in big right now. They're just, they got the two point lead up over Jan Brunson. And he makes another miss. Jason Tatum, Scott has four free down on the night. Now finds Drew Holiday. Up for two, and he does. That's the number two pointer for Drew Holiday. Eight points in the game, a 59 46 game. You can always expect for Drew Holiday, and that's what you always have got to do. Play it up for a real life, I mean, make it even easier, and definitely what they all say. Let's make it Pass over now to Chris that Porzingis. Porzingis now finds a pass to Brown. Brown makes it over to get to Jason Tatum. Tatum trying to make his way in there. The step back now finding it over to get to Drew Holiday. He's another take or two. That's missed again. Harden's time with the rebound now finding it again and to Josh Hart. Looks it around. Passes to Hanunobi. Watch again on a trip. And a scoop drive puts it in. 59 to 48 to score. He has 10. You always can't tell about Giannobi. He can definitely score right in between of those two. After playing with the Raptors, but that one is what you taking in the reverse of try. You gotta give that one a good credit in there. Play it hard. Make it out one countable. Two for White. That misses again. And here's Josh Gard. He will send it over. In the middle. He's fouled, bucket in. That'll be another two-pointer mix in for New York Knicks. It's Josh Hart, and another team foul called on Jalen Brown. Two substitutions are on the club. Because right now, three players of Knicks are checking in. Our three players of Knicks are checking out. Donovich, Brooks, and McBride are checked in with their cheerio. The Celtics are making new changes as all five players checked out. And all five players checked in as Holiday moves over to shooting guard. And Jason Tatum to small four. Hart makes a free throw. It's now an eight point game in between New York and Boston. Well, they gotta start doing something a little bit more. They gotta have that one in there against the premier. Jason Tatum now finds the end of There's a motion in between the attackers. Here's Jason Tatum. Puts it back. Now I'm finding it over. Get the pass over to Tillman Senior. Looks over. And up with the shot. Running out of time. And he misses the shot again. Obama Donovich with the rebound and has our own. Pass is over. Josh Hart. It's denied by Horpro. Finds Drew Holland. Outside range. Here's Jason Tatum for three. Squishing in. No good. Ashula with the rebound. I'm finding Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich loses the ball. And here comes Tillman Sr. for a two. We go to Butcher. Over now to Drew Holiday. He looks into Butcher. Another take, and it's good. Peyton Butcher with another bucket in. They're back up by 10. Well, it scores it now. I mean, a bit of drive doesn't mean to anybody who could definitely stare it along with them. At least if you get this thing correctly and done, you will have the right percentage to get there. Brooks. The three for McDonovich. It's an end for the Marketing the outside. This is now a 64 54 game. 61 54, two minutes. The pass over to Holiday. Deep three for the baseline. It's good! Unbelievable! They are doing three threes again. Well, you were saying threes. 
They're all anywhere. They want some rain and swish in. I mean, I don't know what they can say for now. <laughs> well, you may always expect now. They want threes, they want more. Make it rain. It's all your rainbow. The foul calls on Exil Man Tillman Sr. As Alex Precious Achua is at the free throw line shooting too. That one's not good at all for Tillman Sr. Have to be more precisely to get it through. He makes the first free throw. As right now, the new substitutions are on the court. Mitchell Robinson checked in for Josh Clark. And the Celtics are making a new change up here as Sam Hauser's checked back in for Jason Tano. It's the second free throw. Bayton Butcher with the ball. He only scored two. And he scores Bucket. He now finds it again. Dylan Sr. Once again, drive. And he's fouled again. Mitchell Robinson with his first personal. And a first team foul again on New York Knicks. Oh boy, this is not what they're crazy for. Don't complain about the head coaches. Just don't complain about how did that foul happen. You don't want to take a chance in there. Don't get showing out too soon. Zoban Stillman Sr. is at the free throw line, shooting two. Hasn't been able to score in between the, in each couple of games in a secondary lineup. He missed the first free throw. As you know about Tillman Sr., after playing with the Memphis Grizzlies, he's definitely on a hard taker. The inbounding is not really what they all expected it for. He's really into a high energetic life. When you always know about him, you got that one in there. It's just a, a hard way, way to get this thing through. And that is just all that happens now. When he plays it in here, he's trying to get this one in there as best as he can. He doesn't really take all of it with his better efforts passing and practicing, keeping it all here, you know, playing in there for one more time. That needs to be in there for Xavier Tillman Sr. Xavier Tillman Sr. has to get that when they're moving in and get it through. And it is with John McDonough for three. Another mixed deal for New York Knicks. You always never have to just know that Xavier Tillman Sr. have to be out there for a quite some time. That might be what they do need to know for. The secondary man can get a little bit too hard, but won't get enough through if he has shooting more, better techniques. Also, with the ball, doing a free for a line. That rolls in and out. Oh, good. You're shooting a little bit all aggressively. Here's Brooks with that power of the two. It's missed again. Tillman Sr. now finds it over again to Juan. Juan finds a pass to Pritcher. Open look. Makes a shot in. It's a 67 56 game. All in with the assist with 30 seconds. Here's McBride. McBride for three. Unable to get three pointer. Wilford now finds it over again to Hauser. Wilford again to Pritcher. Pritcher gives the pass over to Tillman Sr. Now finds again to Hauser. Hauser gives it over to Pritcher. Pritcher gives it over now to Horford. Horford in the cutting bound with a two. That one misses again. Tillman Sr. up. Makes it in. And that ends the third quarter. 67-56 is the score. Great play in between the four Boston Celtics. We're keeping an eye to have that 2 0 lead off series over New York Knicks. Well, let's go. I mean, that's what happens to Horford. Swat it out of here. Get that one a good call if you can. Just get things done quickly and done great straight away. We come down to three quarters of the end, but this is the last quarter, and I'll be on its way after this. Hope you've been enjoying it so far. And so right now we have the one more quarter left to go for the regulation period. Last groups are on the board. That's so right now we start things over. Jason Tatum, he's with on Al Jalen Brad, he's with Clayton Butcher. And Derek White in shooting guard. 
Isaiah Arnstein is back with Josh Clark. Then it's a cross from OG Aranobi, a cross from Jalen Brunson, and Dante DiVincenzo in shooting guard. Jalen Brown will be never dry. He has nine points. Well, you can see what they all expect. The green team of the team. No to remember. That's what I always know. Jalen Brown doesn't get too straight. As they are inside with the ball, watching in. The corner range from Hawk. He's in the middle on a shot and he's fouled. Jalen Brown with his first personal. And their team foul for Boston Celtics with 7.21 to go in the fourth. That played it not so well in the Josh Brown may not have that little bit better look at the range. But if you play it in there, you can't let that one find out at all times. Nobody wants it to get things in the way. And they can't let that one feel out for tomorrow and get ready to have a next shift back home. He gets the first free throw. To talk about Josh Carr, he's really able to have that all of in there. Silver's from Silver Spring, Maryland. He definitely has made his way, and his college went to Villanova. He really has all of it, and making a chance in there, then selected by the Utah Jazz, but he was traded over to Los Angeles Lakers, then the South Bay Lakers, the New Orleans Pelicans, and now he's with the Portland Trail Blazers, and there's the team now. He's with the New York Knicks. Really have to be out there. Josh Hart has had a lot of it to make his perception be a precise play, and it's really not what the Iowa's need to know for. It can be a little bit harsh there, but not really at all, but never better time. Derek White makes a number two pointer. 71 57 to score as White has 11. Dante DiVincenzo trying to catch up on him. Ours side, nobody around. Shot, no good. On our next by New York Knicks with two, 6.45 left to go. Jalen Brown now finds Porzingis. Porzingis tries to give it over. Now again to Tatum. Tatum tries to watch over with his motion offense. Looks it over. Jalen Brown for two. Other miss by Boston Celtics. They're shooting out there crazy over here. They're like making the number two points. They don't move around well. Mm. That's a strange thing. Oh my goodness! Another block? I can't believe it. And a try fits in for Derek White. What a fantastic finish. After a swat, he does this. Now you can expect Derek White. How is it amazing? He just really knows. He got great uh, memorizing of the land drives. How amazing is that? And another swat by KP. That is four free blocks in a row. You've got to give credit to the center guard. I know. I know what happens for KP. I always can't tell you now. You always want to shock him down for most. He finds Sark. Or now finding Jalen Brunson. In nearing their line. Nearing the baseline. In the paint. Up of the two. No good. Ball loose. Jalen Brunson. Trying in the back, but it's no good. We're seeing this with his fifth rebound. Now he's going to get a Jalen Brown. And right in the middle, here's Porzingis. Pass is broken up by Jason Tatum. Here's the range right now. OG Anobi. Watches to Josh Hart. Over again, and makes a drop. 73 to 59 is the score. It's OG Anobi with the assist. Got to play on that one right, as you know, Josh Hart really can't get that one focusing straight away. We need to get another way to have it through. Jason Tata now finds Brown. Brown slides it back. Goes over again to Pritchard. Pritchard over and out to Brown. Here's Tata. 30 outside triple range. And went off the mark. Another miss by Boston Celtics. Here's OG Anobi. On his way down with a drive. And another one for Porzingis. A great blocking effort. Destroys it down. Now, KP, he's really a monster. Don't judge him about you can handle it. <laughs> Is that the way you want to step in today? I don't think so. I don't think you're away from me, little lucky luck. 
Here's an R1 for DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo now finds it over to get an Anobi. Anobi trying to make his way. Dante DiVincenzo for three. It's good. 73 to 62. Four three left to go in the full regulation period. Richard Bernal now has it over to get Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum gives it back to Brown. The bounce pass and over. Gives off to Porzingis. He now finds it over. Give it again to Pritchard. It's stolen by Brunson. Here's another one for Josh Hart. The spin. Over again. And now this foul has been called by Christoph Porzingis. That's his first four still. The next second team foul for the Celtics. You will not going to have that one with a lucky chance at all. Josh not say no blocks this point because you know that's a foul if you take all of that one percentage. Don't try to stop on someone if you dare. Another free throw opportunity coming up for Josh Stark. 4 10 to go in the fourth quarter. It's the first free throw. Always going to know for now as Xavier Justice Til Ex Tillman Sr. He's playing it for one of his better takes. After playing for Michigan State Spartans, he's now on his way in there. He's definitely one of the greater picks on here. The 35th overall pick selected by the Memphis Grizzlies. It was by the Memphis Hustles that happened to be here. Boston Celtics now have his contract in there, replacing another man on the other side. And the starting of it, without Robertson, we will have another white raging in there. If the Porzingis can definitely do it again. He's really into it now, and hopefully by then, without the Wizards, it's definitely going to be changing differently than he has to play for. Well, that's what Porzingis really has to get things over. Tell so it Senior might have another new look of it in between. And I'm hoping there's another chance in there. Hope we can get in a more here. It's just not what they'll do. It's not a tricky way to have it all settled in. Just gotta get down with more and have it playable. Here's White. Finds again the butcher. Butcher now swings it over again to Porzingis. Porzingis for two, and he does it again. Porzingis with 10 points. 75 66 to score. They're on fire right now. Yeah, yes. Show him off that crowd response. He will change it now by his order sign. Put the ass on. Here in the free point line is Brunson. Here's Isaiah Harden's sign. Floater up is no good. He now finds it again to Jalen Brown. Brown, the finish it here. Over to Brzezinkis. Wow! Unbelievable! That's what Jalen Brown delivers it over. Without the thunder on, he gets a go pass over. Said, go for Chris Stapps. And he did it. Just got it through. Great target. That Brunson is really turning better. I am just happy enough that they did it really well. The next time I'm called by New York Knicks with only 2.43 left to go. Next game coming up as we have the this one underway as Carl Anthony Towns and their team are warming up. It's the Wolves facing against the OKC Thunders. I'll be on the other side right now. We get this thing started here for our next part of the game. And this will be underway here shortly after this. This will be the final horn for the Celtics and the Knicks. That will be on its way after this game has been concluded. And we will have another way to get this thing settled in and get ready for the next part of the game on the other side. This will be all games here coming up on Side of Beast. That's 9.30 p.m. time of the call. The NBA playoffs on the second round on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't play life without it. Starry Lives. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And now we introduce to the presentation the new balance player of the game, Chris Porzingis. They always know that Chris Porzingis definitely just made it clearly enough to have that rejection. Goals are way important though, but when you play in for a defender, you've got it all covered down. Trying to add another playoff in position right now as Chris Porzingis is adding another chance here to keep the play alive and from going fair and smooth. 
This will be the next round of games if you'll be ready for game three and four. Here comes an hour for Gianobi. Loose the ball. Slides it back. Green for DiVincenzo. And it's good. 77 to 68 to score. Now they're just coming back down in by nine. Loose the ball. Closing his ass. Watching plays in. Drew Holiday wants to make a new changeover. He now finds Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Sliding in. Excellent take. Jalen Brown now finding Drew Holiday. Looks over. Bounce passes. Here's Eric White. Nobody out the room. And it's missed again. Here's Steve Vincenzo. On his way down. Tries to give it on Nobi. And he makes a drive in the reverse scoop. Back down by 11. Asante DiVincenzo with the assist. Oh boy, I don't know what's going to happen now, but only two minutes is going to be it. Tatum now finds it over again to Brown. Brown gives it over now, finding it again to Holiday. Holiday finds the pass over now to Brown. Here's Brown on a drive with a two, and it's good. Jalen Brown with 11 points. And Drew Holiday with the assist. Really have to be in there for Drew Holiday, but they are just catching things down, catching your breath, and man, oh man, religion. No pass here for Aaron Obi. And it's blocked. Porzingis got that back. Finds Brown, and now it finds again to Drew Holiday. On a take, he makes the drop. That's 13 points in this game. They're up by 11, and they are scoring it. Big Broad, right inside for three. Unable to answer that call. And the fans are on their feet now, supporting for the Celtics on the 2-0 star victory win at the home. And they'll be heading their way back down to New York, ready for our games three and four, after the coverage of the games three and four for NHL. Tatum, three outside. Step up for two. This is again, and it's now 35 seconds left to go in the fourth. The pass over, DiVincenzo for three. And he misses again. The audience now finds it again at Eric White. Play at a time, keep going down. Give it again to Jalen Brown. Finds a pass down to Holland. The lock is changing over and we'll close this game now here in the half court. That will end here for the Celtics. And right now the last substitutions are on the court. This will be all for the Knicks and the Celtics. Four players are checked off the court, four players are checked on the court. And the other side for the Boston Celtics, you only got a couple of them. 7.6 seconds. This right now last possession will be on the New York Knicks. And last one up, will not take it in. That ends the second game for game two. 81 to 70 is your final score. Boston Celtics on its way, ready to take the trip to New York City and get ready for our next matchup again for our next seven Celtics. Well played, well played. Players are in there, great time, it's been pressured on. It's always believable to make it lead free. And take over what you may have come for. That's going to wrap it up, folks. Boomer along with Clover and Silver Spoon. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs for 2K Sports. We're Valley of Force. We saw we greatly appreciate you. And have a wonderful night. So long in Boston Celtics. And Boston, Massachusetts. All right. Thank you so much there. That's right. At this moment, this takes it over. And now we definitely do have it on the board. That's right. I always get a great call of him right in between of those two as the Knicks and the Celtics are really like a great team to have it in there. Not a rival, but this one team to be a little bit of an unchaotic ball right in with those two. Let's take a look at how he did. 58 for the field goals for Boston Celtics. 45 three-pointers for New York Knicks. Along with 86 free throws for New York Knicks. Along with that, 17 fast break points. That must have been in there for New York Knicks. 48 for the Boston Celtics on the points in the paint. Then it was seven ch second chance points for the New York Knicks. 18 and 34 for bench points and assists for Boston Celtics. Then it was eight offensive rebounds for New York Knicks and 30 for Boston Celtics. 
And it was six and six, six and turnovers from blocks and steal. I'm sorry if I did that one anyway, but I'll just make that one in there. Triple six for Boston Celtics. Definitely done it all. Three team fouls for New York Knicks. Not a close run any range for the Dunks, but only two were even up. 16 for Boston Celtics. Then it was 17.55 time of possession for the Boston Celtics team. Now you can always expect it for now. I mean, you could play that one in there. Do as all as you wish for. All right, Centipede, I have it for you. Three star players, your take. All right, thank you so much. Three stars start things over here as we give a great look of it in between. It's not very easy what they play for. Starting with Josh Hart with 14 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals. He only made that one a great epic on this journey. One dunk, 30 performance effort with 5 out of 8 field goals. And that would have to be just changing in there, right in between the zones. Might be what they're expecting for Josh Hart, but the next one will come. The second star goes to Dante DiVincenzo with 14 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. He only had 5 out of 11 field goal range, 4 out of 5 three-pointers. Had that one turning to be a great one to take. With 23 performance effort, he just made that one easy look then go. And for your number one star of the game, or your new balance, it all has to be, well, not for him, but Jason Tatum with 14 points, 7 rebounds, with 4 assists. 6 out of 14 field goals, 1 three-pointer has made, and only 23 performance effort with 1 dunk. He just finally had that one finished, but his day will be the next day to play against the Knicks at the Garden. So, as of now, Kristaps Porzingis, he definitely had that one finishing in here. And back on the road underneath the surface, he only had four blocks in the row that you swat and take it out. With two steals, that one's terrific. He loves that rejection. Take it in there, what do you expect? I know they do. <laughs> Chris Sapphore Zingas, he's a better center guard ever. Best defenseman played for each games. Now, are we ready to have that one back? I think in the next game's underway there soon, there, Terry. Yeah, I guess so. So if you're sneaking around for the Wolves and the Thunders, we'll have you on the other side there pretty soon and shortly, right after this. So thank you all so much for tuning us in for the first game, and for a while as the NBA 2K Sports of the Playoffs dial. And if you're not watching it for the second game, thanks for watching, and we hope we'll see you again for the next couple of games. And with that one being said, peace out, and we'll say so long to Boston, Massachusetts, and New York City, of the Garden, both locations. See you all later for the next one. If you don't, Somebody will.